does not have a creative bone in his body, <laughs> but he knows my work better than anyone, and he is often the first and the last eyes to see anything I make. Sometimes I veto him, but I do always listen. And I am a full-time working artist, and I bleed money. And he, um, no matter what crazy idea I have for an installation or a project or um, presentation, his answer is always yes, which is my favorite answer. <laughs> he is a true patron of the arts, and <clears throat> we would not be standing here if not for Team Burba, so will you join me in thanking you? of this installation. I've never installed anything this way, um, but I really um, wanted to speak to the actual work, and I, we spent a lot of time talking about it and, and trial and error, and then he physically helped hang every inch of the show. So um, thank you for that. Also, I want to say this is part of the Click Triangle Photography Festival, which I have been working on for um, I don't even know how long now. Bryce strong-armed me into coming on to the team this year. So I love you and I hate you. Um, <laughs> but, uh, but I cared a great deal about, um, about how this has come together and the people who are here um, and the, the, entire, the entire festival. So um, to speak to the work, this is called Midnight Sun. I have never um, done an exhibition uh, that was really a lot about process. I am completely driven by the narrative um, and subject matter. And, um, but I do shoot film exclusively and I have a traditional dark room in my basement and I do all my own printing. And at the end of any given day, you know, the floor is covered with test strips and failed prints on the way to the good print. And when I started making the assemblage work, which was about, I think maybe four years ago, I'm not sure. Um, when I started to do the three dimensional pieces, I started to think, well, wow, I should keep, I should just keep these in case I tear them up or use them. You never know what you're gonna wind up using. And so, after about six months, eight months, uh, as I started to go back and look through these bits that I'd kept, I saw, I was stunned um, that the unwashed prints, the chemistry and the paper drying, it had started to have its own, you know, this whole thing happened that I just thought, well, wow, these are actually far more interesting and actually more beautiful than the finished print that I, you know, died trying to make, the, and, um, and I had almost nothing to do with it. And that really led me to think about what I often now have an awareness of, which is the role of providence in my life, particularly my creative life. I never think I'm on my own in those really creative moments, it always feels like there's an energy that is moving through that I've just opened up to, and that's when, you know, the magic starts happening. And it, it's not only exciting, but it's also comforting. Um, so this really actually feels like that manifest. I left the room, and this happened. Um, and that kind of blew my mind, and so now, at when I know I've got a stack, you know, waiting to go down and see, they feel like presents. Um, I, I never know exactly what I'm gonna get. I did have, I don't think he's here yet, I know he's coming tonight. I was very worried when I first discovered this was happening that it, I wouldn't be able to make it archival, that this would be something that would wash away, Could it, would it be something anyone would exhibit, would anyone collect this? was really nervous about that, and 
um, a graduate student from East Carolina University who um, was visiting my studio said, here's what I would do. Um, I'm self-taught. I had I was scared to even wash them, press them. I had no idea. And he said, this is what I would try if I were you. And I did. And we figured out how to make them archival. And then Roy Lee, who's been very supportive of me for as long as I've been here. He's the one that sends me a note saying, I see what you're doing. I'm really proud of you out there. I've always really appreciated that. But he did that maybe about eight months ago. And I said, well, let's try and do something together. And he said, well, let me come for a studio visit. And I showed him a lot of stuff at my house, which is always packed with mania. And he chose this, and I thought it was a really great choice. Um, and I feel really proud of, uh, of that exhibition. And um, The last thing I just want to say is that, you know, this is what I love about film in the dark room. It is, to me, and I'm in it every day, magic, mystery, alchemy, this is, you know, this is my jam. Serendipity is a wonderful thing. Isn't it? <laughs>